Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novich, Senior Trading Manager with JDM. Today's outlook, we start with the Asian stocks. They came out mixed today on the market as uh, following a raft of economic data. Earlier in the session, however, data showed Australia's economic uh, economy expanded also uh, expanded by 2.3% in the first quarter from the year-ago period, beating forecasts. Australia's key S&P 200 index stayed at a two-week low of 5, uh, 50, 5, 5, 591 points. Country received better than expected growth report cards, of course. Meanwhile, the Australian dollar climbed 0.35% to 0794 from 0.7769 prior to the data. Meanwhile, in China, the HSBC Market Service Purchasing Managers Index for May rose to 53.5, up from 52.9 in April, and of course comfortably above the 50-point level that separates expansion from contraction. China's Shanghai Composite Index declined following two days of robust gains after, a, uh, as a data showed, an acceleration in activities in the country's service sector. By midday, the uh, Shanghai bourses fell one, a little over 1%. Hong Kong's uh, key Hang Seng index uh, elevated seven tenths of a percent, with uh, retails shrugging off 2.2 percent on year slump in the country's uh, retail sales data for April. Further in Asia, profits taking and of course a, a range bound dollar yen kept Japan's benchmark Nikkei 225 modestly in the red on Wednesday. The Tokyo index had snapped a 12 day winning streak a day earlier. The dollar slid to 124.04 versus the yen and away from a 12 and a half year peak of 125.07. In Europe, the shares, uh, the shared currency was enjoying the view at 1.1155, having climbed 2% overnight. The initial catalyst was EU data showing a surprisingly large increase in headlines, and of course core inflation, which suggested the European Central Bank's latest easing campaign was gaining traction. Greece also remained in focus for the markets as hopes of debt deal grow. On Tuesday, Greece creditors drafted the board lines of an agreement to put to the Greek government, of course in a uh, big bid to resolve months of tense negotiations over Greek reforms and debt. Greece faces a 300 million euro payment to the International Monetary Fund on Friday. But there are uh, doubts that the country can honor that debt without further financial aid. Meanwhile, in the commodity sector, we're looking at gold. It eased slightly on Wednesday after, uh, even as uh, the uh, dollar nursed sharp losses on expectations of Greek debt deal. With investors' uh, sentiment remaining bearish due to outflows from bullion backed funds, gold slipped two tenths of a percent to one to 1191.40 announced by uh, the uh, early Asian session after gaining four tenths of a percent on Tuesday. Holdings in the SPDR Gold Trust, uh, the world's uh, largest gold exchange traded, traded fund, fell 4.18 tons to 709 tons on Tuesday, the lowest since January. Markets also continue to wait more U.S. economic data, including the monthly non-farm payroll report on Friday to gouge the strength of the economy and, of course, how it would uh, affect the Federal Reserve's interest rate policy. Crude oil prices fell on Wednesday as well, after a brief gain in this previous session as oversupply weighed on the markets, while OPEC not expected to announce a production cut at its meeting on Friday. Core Gulf members of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, which uh, is probably most of you know, controls over 40% of the world's crude production, have a consensus to maintain the group's oil output at its meeting this week. U.S. crude futures were down 35 cents at $60.91 a barrel after climbing to 61.50 in the previous session. Traders today will uh, focus on the ECB's interest rate decision that is coming out at 11.45 and of course the uh, monetary policy statement followed shortly after that at 12.30. Also with a big impact over the market is expected to have the ADP employment change 
and trade balance for US that is coming out at 12.15 and 12.30 respectively. That's all for today. Keep an eye on the economic calendar. Until the end of the week, there's important fundamentals that are going to shift the market. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.